Tax day is coming soon, and thousands of hardworking Americans still need to file their federal income tax return. And if you're one of them, don't panic. I'm Mark Stever, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt, and I'll help you figure out if you'll make the deadline or if you'll need to file an extension this year. What is a tax extension anyway? Great question, especially because there's a lot of confusion out there about extensions and when to file an extension for taxes and what it means. A tax extension is a way for you to get more time to file your tax return. But here's what people misunderstand. It's more time to file the forms with the IRS. It is not more time to pay the taxes that you owe. If you owe the IRS, you must still pay by April 15th or risk penalties and interest. So when should you consider filing a tax extension? Well, life gets in the way, things happen, and we let things slip through the cracks. But as long as you fill out and submit a Form 4868, Application for Automatic Extension of Time to File, by tax day, you'll get like the title of the form itself says, an automatic six-month extension of time to file your tax return. It's free, it's easy, the IRS does not charge you a penalty or a fee to file the Form 4868. Our tax pros at Jackson Hewitt can help you out as well. Also, keep in mind, you have a legal right to file an extension, granting you more time to file your tax return. And while the IRS doesn't require to tell them why, I find it's a best practice to only do it when you have a good reason. While in my three decades of working in the tax industry, I've not found too many everyday reasons to file an extension, but there are exceptions. Like, you should not file an extension because you're not in the mood. But you should if you're missing documentation related to your tax return. Like you're getting closer to tax day and you realize you're missing a W-2 and your employer can't get it to you on time. You should not make an estimate and guess what's on your W-2. Otherwise, you could risk major issues with the IRS and state for filing an incorrect tax return. Other examples when you should consider filing a tax extension include something in your life disrupts your ability to file your tax return, like you have a death or an illness in your family, or even a natural disaster. Filing an extension also gives you more time to correct mistakes. For example, if you receive a Form 1099 from your freelancing work and it reports an incorrect amount paid to you, but I repeat, an extension does not give you more time to pay your taxes. So what happens if you don't file a federal tax extension? Well, if you're watching this and it's already past April 15th and you forgot to file an extension and your tax return in general, it's okay. Breathe and don't panic. File your tax return as soon as you are able. You cannot file a tax extension after tax day, but you can file your tax return. If you owe, you might face the failure to file penalty, which is generally 5% of the unpaid tax amount each month, and it caps out at 25%. Generally, a federal return that is due a refund does not get this penalty. However, some states do penalize late-filed refund returns. You might also get hit with the failure to pay penalty, which is a penalty if at least 90% of your expected taxes due are not paid in by tax day. This penalty is much less costly. It starts out at 0.5% or one half a percent of unpaid taxes each month. And it also caps out at 25%. So less costly on a monthly basis, but it does add up fast over time. And interest is compounded daily, meaning the numbers grow fast. So the longer you wait to file and pay, the more you'll pay in penalties and interest. Who does not need to file an extension, but gets one anyway? Great question. There are some people who will get an automatic extension on their federal tax return, even if they don't submit the Form 4868. That includes if you're a U.S. citizen who lived and worked outside of the country on the deadline, and out of the country is key. You have until June 15th to file your tax return. But caution, you still have to pay your taxes by April 15th. If you were in a federally declared disaster area last year, you may get more time to file and pay your taxes. And if you're a member of the military and are in a combat zone for any time during the filing season, you get an automatic 180-day extension to file and pay your taxes. So what do you do after you file a tax extension? Well, my biggest piece of advice after you filed an IRS tax extension, don't keep waiting. File as soon as you're able. 
Just because you're given six more months doesn't mean you have to wait until October to finish your tax return. Meet with a tax pro to talk about your next steps and what paperwork you need in order to complete your tax return as soon as you receive it. Don't let the days and months keep piling up. It will only make you feel more anxious. They can help you get all your ducks in a row and organize your documents to prepare for a smooth filing whenever you're ready. Think you want to request a tax extension this year? Talk to a tax pro at Jackson Hewitt and schedule an appointment today on jacksonhewitt.com. And tell me in the comments, if you could get six more months to do something else besides your tax return, what would it be? And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more information and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things tax.